What's the most <laughs> common thing we say we want for ourselves and for our families? That's to be happy, ladies. Yeah, to yeah. be happy, right? Yet in our fast-paced, crazy world, our quest for happiness falls victim to stress and anxiety. Mm -hmm. But there are simple practices proven to boost our level of happiness. Well, Amy Taylor and Nikki Hitch write the health and wellness blog, Spunky Avocado. They're here with some habits for happiness. And welcome to the show. Hello, ladies. How you doing? Good. I love this topic. These are simple things we can all start implementing today to mm -hmm. experience more happiness and joy in our lives. Let me ask you this, though. Is it really possible to be happier and kind of put aside that stress and anxiety that so many of us feel? It, it doesn't feel like it sometimes, but it absolutely is. So why we are born with kind of a set point for happiness, mm -hmm. it's not fixed. So where I was like, I was born more on the melancholy mm -hmm. end of things, mm -hmm. and I've had to work harder to like keep my head above water than like maybe somebody who was born with a really sunny, natural disposition. Mm -hmm. These practices that we're going to talk to you about that become habits absolutely raise that set point and mm -hmm. have been kind of revolutionary, I have to say, in my own life. Mm -hmm. Well, you talk about these practices, let's get into it. You said the number one is Gratitude. gratitude. Gratitude, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's actually mounds of research that show that having a daily gratitude practice can ward off negative emotions and it just helps to transform the way we view the world. So it makes us more optimistic and compassionate mm -hmm. and it's simple. So if you take five minutes in the morning and you just jot down three unique things that you're grateful for and it's important that they're unique because that's what makes you really get present in the moment to find and, and pick out what those unique things are that you're grateful it's for. It's easy to say, my family, my health, uh -huh. and which, which we should be grateful right. for, right? But that's what you mean about unique. Really kind yes. of delve into that. I'm what what yeah. about your family? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I'm grateful my, for my kids, you know, every morning. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but particularly grateful when the little one packs her lunch for the 6.30 a.m. bus, right? Like the little I get it. And, yes. And to piggyback on that, so that's the start of the day. At the end of the day, if you can write down, come up with just one positive thing that happened to you during the day. And it could mm -hmm. be as simple as like making the grumpy man smile at you on the elevator. Mm -hmm. It trains your brain to start mm -hmm. looking for the positive things in every day mm -hmm. and it starts to rewire your brain and change the way you look at the world. Also, when you write it down, the more detail you can add to the story, yes, absolutely. the better it is uh -huh. because then it sticks. It sticks in your brain yep. and you're like, it's like you're experiencing you're it, it all over it. again, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, also, taking time to connect with other people. Mm -hmm. Talk about the importance of that and how that makes <clears throat> us happier. One of the biggest predictors of happiness and just contentment in life is strong social connections. So this practice is to connect with people on a daily basis in ways that you wouldn't normally do that. So it might just be writing a, a thank you note or an email to someone that you've always just wanted to say, I appreciate you and you've made a difference in my life. Mm -hmm talking to a friend that you've wanted to reconnect with on the phone for years or inviting a colleague out to coffee because you just want to know them better. So mm -hmm. establishing those deep human connections is extremely important and is, is as predictive um, to longevity as having heart disease mm -hmm. or obesity or other negative health mm -hmm. conditions. It's that important. Mm. Another way to pump up your uh, your happiness is exercise. <laughs> Talk about exercise. Nikki. You're not going to say endorphins, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That would be short term. Yes. yes, it makes you happy, but those are short term. Mm -hmm. So exercise, you know, it can be as effective, if not more effective, yes. than antidepressants for some people. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take much. It can be 15 minutes of an elevated heart rate. It can be a brisk walk. Take the dog out yes. for a walk. Just watch the hips. <laughs> and um, you know, and it will boost the mood. It mm -hmm. it definitely has an antidepressant effect. Mm -hmm. See, this is mm -hmm. all stuff that we can do. Mm -hmm. um, meditation. I know that you both practice meditation, mm -hmm. and you say this is a game changer it is absolutely just a simple meditation practice you will hear all the time and we've talked about this mm -hmm. that people will say oh no I just can't meditate anybody can meditate mm -hmm. anybody it just takes if you take start with five minutes of your day sit down get quiet and just connect with your breath follow your breath in and out and if your mind goes in different directions that's okay just mm -hmm. bring it back to the breath if someone with a chaotic crazy monkey mind like I have mm -hmm. can actually find the stillness anyone can do it and guided meditations and those kind of things can be helpful too to people to you know to get them started down that meditation path but it's life-changing because so many people say they can't meditate because they don't know what to do right. and their mind wanders but those guided meditations that you can find online for free mm -hmm. they do wonders they talk you through it mm -hmm. and if you think it's hippy dippy hokey just give it a shot I'm telling yes, you it absolutely it is amazing uh -huh. what happens and how you just become this calmer person 
Two more things that you like. These cost a little bit of money, but you say they're well worth it. One is the Calm app. One is the Calm app. There's a lot of meditation apps out there, but Calm has been my favorite. Okay. Um, that it just offers so many different things. And then um, much of this that we've been talking about is based on Sean Aker's work, and he is a um, professor, a positive psychology professor out of Harvard, mm -hmm. and he has a life class with Oprah, and it's called 21 Days, I think, um, to Happiness, and it incorporates all these different practices, mm -hmm. and I, I highly recommend it. It's not free, but it pays off. So good. Mm -hmm. He's awesome. I love his yeah. books, his yes. work, his talks. Go to SpunkyAvocado.com for more information. SpunkyAvocado.com. We are grateful that you are and, here. Oh, yes. We're always grateful Thank to you. be here. Oh, Thank you so thing. much. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up on